what's up, man? You like that? You like that energy I came in with that time? Boy. That's that A1 Joel. That's what Michael, my stage manager, says. I want that A1 Joel. I want that A1 sauce. So Do you say sauce? I want the A1 sauce. That A1 Joel sauce. So I got to bring the energy, man. If you guys are watching this on live TV, thank you so much for letting me in your home. Why wouldn't you? I mean, look at this. Look at this piece of man meat. Why, why wouldn't you let me in your house, right? Yeah, thank you so much. If you're watching this live, not live, but if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Maybe it's your first time here. You, you, you want, you're going to want more of this. Trust me. I got so much more to give. I want to give it to you. There you are. Do you feel it? I want to give it to you. So make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button. Like and comment below too, man. Let us know what you think. Maybe you think I'm an idiot. I'm probably going to hear that in the comment section now. So anyway, Thor Ackerlin is who we're talking about. He was at the Game On Expo in Mesa, Arizona. I'm going to continue the coverage. I know we've been doing this for a long time, but there was just so much there at this convention. That's why I highly recommend that you go there next year. Yeah, you're going to go? Uh, uh, no, you already promised. You already promised. You're going next year. I'll see you there. So if you don't know, Thor Ackerlin, basically, Michael, he won the Nintendo World Championships of 1990. Do you know what that is? You're not, you're not familiar with that? Do you remember the movie The Wizard? Keith Sa Keith, what is it, Kevin Savage? The Wonder Years? Oh, what'd you do if I sang? I don't tell. Fred Savage. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, he's in it. You remember that? He goes that chance. That's kind of what it was. It was. So this thing toured all around the U.S. And this is the guy that won in 1990. He won that thing. And, uh... I believe it consisted of Super Mario Brothers, Red Racer, Tetris, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, man, I got to talking to the guy afterwards. We did the interview. Actually, John Sakura uh, from Media Glitch, Gamers Anonymous, he and he did the interview. But afterwards, we talked to him. His Tetris abilities are mind blowing. That's all. That's all I can say. Mind blowing. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up, man. I'm gonna get get this interview to you guys. I hope you like it. Check it out. Let's roll. Hey guys, it's John here from Media Glitch, and right now we're actually talking to Thor Ackerland. So Thor, uh, you're pretty well known in the gaming industry because of a, a pretty major accomplishment back in 1990. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, the NWC 1990 was a, it's a big, like, nine-month-long 30-city tour. Um, we got to play Super Mario Brothers, Rad Racer, and Tetris, and um, ended up in Hollywood. It was a really good time, met a lot of really incredible people that um, I try to keep in touch with and it's really cool to see the uh, resurgence and interest in it after all these years. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the coolest things is that people have an appreciation for retro gaming and now that sort of these uh, tournament games are coming out of the woodworks in terms of like the um, the NES remix has sort of like a, 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 a throwback kind of, you know, with some classic games, Dr. Mario, Mario 3, things of that nature. But when you were training for this, I mean, you knew what was coming, you knew the games you had to play and you had to sit, literally perfect them. If you wanted to be the best, if you wanted to win the world championship, you had to perfect these games. So was it literally you were studying these day in and day out? Uh, I don't know. I didn't really think about it very much. I didn't have an NES at the time. I had a Game Boy. So I had Tetris and Super Mario Land and I just kind of played with that. Uh, one of my buddies had an NES that I love to play. I go over to his house sometime. Um, but uh, I didn't... I didn't even have the matching Tetris. I had the Tingan Tetris, which was cool because it was two players. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, it just kind of came together. Um, I didn't really think about it that much. Years later, people told me about the patterns, and I was like, holy crap. I didn't really realize at the time. So in essence, like, you really just, did you feel you lucked out, or did you feel like you were just on your game? I mean, like, to win that, you know, what was it like just to be there for, like, the final moments, and, like, you took it? Um... It was a relief more than anything. It was like uh, a lot of uh, hard work in a way, just traveling around, sitting in the backseat of cars, going across the country. But uh, yeah, uh, it was just indescribable. It was huge because there were so many um, games set up and, and so many people there in every city. There was like, you know, 100, 200,000 people coming through the gates in each city and they'd fill up like the biggest convention center and it just felt like you were in a movie. Okay. So, I mean, since, since putting that behind you and you've got like, you know, the, the, the world record for, you know, like that at the time, and you've got the trophy, you've got everything, you know, that was as part of your gaming history, 
what else did you do gaming wise? I mean, in terms of games you loved, you know, putting aside the tournament idea, what other games did you get into Nintendo, Super Nintendo, maybe Genesis, that you just genuinely enjoyed like the most? What were some of your favorites? Oh man, uh, well the, the night of the finals, like right before the uh, NWC, I was playing with one of the other uh, finalists. We were playing Herzog's Y against each other. Right, okay. It was a killer game, man. I like I like that Target Earth. Yeah, Military Madness. Um, actually, I kind of stopped gaming after the the championship uh, for a free few years. Then I went to PC, okay. and uh, I played there a bit, but nothing really all that competitive. Uh, it's a it's a social thing, you know. And then once I met new people that were into it, I kind of slowly get back into the groove of things. And then uh, Robin uh, dusted me off in, in 2010 for the for the movie Ecstasy of Order, and met some of the the greatest Tetris players uh, ever. That was quite a treat. That's amazing, man. So I mean, if, if something like this ever happened again, I know a couple years back they did something somewhat similar um, with like the uh, when they were doing Mario Maker, and they had like a whole set of like you know seven or eight video game levels. Would you like to see something of this caliber happen like regularly, maybe every couple years or five years? And if so, I mean, what would you think would be a great representation of three skill-based games? If you got to choose three games to represent the next Nintendo World Championship, what would they be? Uh, I'm probably the wrong guy to ask. Uh, I know they'd have to have a Mario. They'd have yeah. to have some sort of puzzle game that was fast-paced and kind of brutal like Tetris is. Because sure. there's not really a second chance in Tetris. You don't have lives. It's just right, yeah, <laughs> you're <definitely>. gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the most important thing would be the scale of it. That's the hardest thing to describe to people was how big that thing was. Because um, you know, going for nine months beginning to end, ending in Hollywood, and they didn't just go to a, a small convention hall, they, they filled up the biggest place they could find in the city. And it was like, you know, something like 25 tractor trailers worth of equipment, huge screens. Uh, it was insane. I, I just hope that future generations or the current generation gets a chance to see something like that happen again. Because yeah. there really hasn't been anything like it at all. Yeah. Okay, well, cool, man. Thank you so much for, uh, I mean, stopping out here to the uh, the Game On Expo to talking to us at Media Glitch. And, um, I mean, best of luck with everything you're doing in the future. Playing games, hanging out, socializing, all that good stuff. It's the, it's the name of it, it's the nature of it, and it's fun just to meet people who have contributed to this industry and you're part of that, so it's an honor. All right, thanks to everybody. Cool. Take all care. right.